Okay, a lot of people are angry. Let me say obedience are angry with Peter B for you know defending Bola Ahmed to number. Peter B went to the national TV to defend Bola Ahmed to number on the national TV, and a lot of obedience are not happy with him. And he, part of some of the things he said that a lot of us are aware of during. Um, Tunubu's campaign. He promised he was going to continue from where Muhammad Buhari stopped and um, so many things. And Peter Obi came and gave facts and figures. I want you to watch this video and see the reason why Peter Obi came to defend Bola Ahmed Tunubu. If you're just coming across my video, this is NHTV. Be sure to like and follow my page. All my new subscribers, my followers, thank you. My returning subscribers and my followers, gratitude is my attitude. Don't forget to also follow me on my TikTok account, NHTV underscore NG. Watch this and we'll be right back. I will say that President Tunibu have kept to his campaign promises. Throughout this camp the campaign, he consistently maintained that he will continue from where Buhari stopped. And that is done very well. I would say excellent. I'll give him an excellent pass mark. And it's very simple. Stance. Dollar was 460. It's now 1,005. Fuel was 238. It's now about 700. Diesel was 844. It's now 1,000. 415. A bag of rice is 30, 35,000, is done about 80. A bag of beans was similar, 30, 35, is done about 90. Gary was 27, 28, is now 49, 50. A tuba of yam was about 2,007 to 3,000, now is over 10,000. Tomato baskets. Is about 40,000. That is over 150,000. Electricity is 66 kilowatts. It's now over 200. You can go on and on. Our debt, even bread, which is a basic thing other countries have subsided, like Egypt, bread, smaller, medium bread was 450 naira. It's now 900 naira. The big one is 900, it's 1,005. Our debt, like I mentioned, was 87. By end of last year, it was actually 97. The highest we've done within that short period. Nine is over one, about over 100 trillion. In fact, this year alone, the government, through the Central Bank of Nigeria, had issued and taken from the system borrowing of over 16 trillion naira. You can imagine the interest at almost 20% is about 3.2 trillion after 12 months. At that last year, in a period of nine months, we spent about 5.7 trillion servicing as debt interest on our payment. So add that. So overall, if done well, let's even go back to the overall of the economy. By the time he took over last year, we were still the biggest economy in Africa with $477 billion as our GDP, followed by South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, and Morocco. Today, we are number four. South Africa is number one now, I think about 373 billion dollars egypt is second 347 billion dollars followed by algeria 266 and we are now 252 billion gdp economy it's even worse when you go to our per capita we are not we are actually one quarter of per capita of the least of these nations that i mentioned south africa is over 6,000 per capita. Egypt is 4,000 plus. So is Algeria. And then Morocco 
which 1,210, and we are 1,000 plus. So we actually have gone low. We're coming from a low of per capita of 3,000 plus in 2014. So with every other thing I've heard at Sant, adherence to the rule of law has worsened. Mm. The country has been a nepotism is at the highest. Let's look at what... In a nutshell, what Peter Obi is trying to say is that um, Tunubu is a man of his words. Yes, they keep to not talk and do it. They keep to in words. He tell us he will continue from where Buari stop. Buari leave dollar, 400 and something. Income, carry and enter 1,000 plus. Buari leave for 260. Income, carry and enter 7 something. Buari be the pay subsidy in commission they know they pay they don't come on subsidy you move on to seven something after the court they tell us that they pay subsidy for back food stores everything don't sky rise the only thing we in no increase as income so not only salary salary still remain where it is and they want me people survive for that condition and they go they pay me when i go to see some people upon the con they say yeah he didn't give to no time he's going to do it to get better hello super one sweet and from the beginning preparation i will go no so they look say, can these people not just say the truth for once? What is it? You waiting then? Waiting the? What are they hiding? What are they afraid of? You can't tell us say it will be better. He's gonna work. Hello, you go until people buy finish before we go no say this government no be am. Not only five percent for this in cabinet. Nine D all right. Know the truth. The rest won't son lorry. I never see before. Come on, a prepaid meter when they give free after the court decide to sell during Buari time. Three face now, 110. Single face, about uh, 60 something. Now, single don't enter 100 and something. Two and uh, three face now, 250. Hello? They know they give free. Nothing. Nothing is working. No light. See, uh, tariff don't go up. And you say this government is working and it's going to change. I bet when? Now their lifestyle they change. Make a whole Nigeria, a one person for Nigeria know what 150, 150,000. Meanwhile, them, one person they want 10 billions because they don't chop on our destiny, their children's destiny. Join. And you call that country. Say the country go there alright. I'm sorry, no go there alright. The only person we get with, with the right senses. And we, we they think, eh? And they honest to himself and fear God. Now you go come account and say everything is wrong with this government, except you lying to yourself. I thank God I didn't support this government because I for now for come they cry, put my face for Gota, like people who vote for and they put face for Gota, they shame and they lament because of this government. Anyway, in a nutshell, this in government just one year, not the worst during Buhari time. At least for production, Nigeria still did not be the number one for Africa. But now we they struggle for number five, just one year. The next three, four years, only God know. Feng Bole for bad. They go they look for us for bad. They no go see us. Guys, my live on a year. Share the video, leave your comment. What do you think? Do you agree with Peter or B? Or you still believe in this government? It's your choice. Leave your comment. Let's meet at the comment section. I'll go see you now for the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow and subscribe. Bye bye.